Shalom, brothers and sisters. UN chief, Christians who don't accept MAPs will be excluded from society. So before I read the article for you, I did double and triple check this thing. And this new story is everywhere on multiple, multiple sites with the same claim. So it's out there. And uh, as shocking as it seems, it would appear that it's legit. Uh, MAPs, minor attracted persons, the new nice word that they'll probably bolt onto LGBTQ plus later on um, for how sick they are and what they're trying to normalize that's evil. In a disturbing new declaration, UN expert Victor Madrigal Borlos said religious freedom can only be tolerated if religious people fully embrace the globalist agenda, including radical LGBTQ plus ideology. The LGBTQ plus ideology the UN is pushing originates from a report issued earlier this year that calls for the decriminalization of sex between adults and minors. Madrigal Borlaws reported to the 53rd session of the UN Human Rights Council that religious freedom can only exist if compatible with the LGBTQ plus agenda if Christians and other religious groups comply with radical far-left ideology. In some cases, he says, religious narratives have been deliberately used to justify violence and discrimination, often in defiance of the doctrine of those faiths and also beyond the scope of the right freedom of religion or belief, he complained. He insinuates that religious believers who do not embrace LGBT ideology are misinterpreting their own religion. Madrigal Borlaws not only haphazardly perpetrates the idea that religious groups are interpreting their religions incorrectly, but also that articulating their understanding of sin can be considered hate speech or incitement to violence. They're going to push this harder and harder all the time and they're going to get the go-ahead more and more because everybody involved is sick, twisted and evil, pushing ahead and putting this in the front line to be accepted as part of this new culture slash religion that's all going to come together in this one world order, this new world order, this beast system that is not far off in the future or vague and hard to see through the clouds, but very clearly taking shape in front of us every day and in front of our faces. Peace and safety, peace and security, peace and safety all the time. Politicians openly saying revived Roman Empire is a good idea. Things like that that are straight up biblical are happening. And it is an evil, evil generation that seeks to destroy children. Hence this kind of article as well all over again. As long as I'm here, I will be standing for and protecting the children who can't protect themselves. Regardless of threats or whatever they want to do. And we should all be like that. We should be standing and facing the darkness and covering our children until God picks us up shortly because he will he is faithful and he is true until then he's standing by our side while we stand and push back against the darkness keep shining your light keep looking up shalom